Hey guys, this is GamerCal, welcome back to Super Mario 3D Land, where we actually have officially put the first part of this out by now, so I guess you can date that as you will. We are going to start World 3 today. World 3 has some interesting stuff. It is, I guess, your usual introdu in bleh, introduction to water. But that's not the only thing that it has going for it here, so let's just take a little look at some of the stuff. You can see there's some chomper dudes down there. They really aren't too big a deal. This is kind of a cool little open area, though. Like, you don't normally see this too often in uh, most Mario games of this style, so it's kind of fun to, to explore around a place like this, especially when, you know, there are nasties that will try and chomp you down, I guess. I don't know, that's not really too interesting, but you do have these music notes over here, which are a rather long set of notes, to be honest, but that's okay. Because it's the full song most of the time. Oh, I didn't think that was going to actually hit me. Whatever. Gives you a full item back, and it leads you to here, where there's actually somewhere to go. So let's quickly sneak on in here and get ourselves the second star medal. So we did technically miss the first one, but that's because I've only really been running around the outside of this place so far. You can fall off the world here, so, you know, just as a sort of demonstration, don't do that. It's not good for your health, and you will live to regret it, because you won't actually live at all. That's kind of the point. So, why don't we just go ahead and take that guy out? I don't think there's anything else here, per se. I think we actually do need to go up with the cannon now, so we'll go ahead and do that. You can see these guys kind of respawn, so there's not too much point in killing them all, but we need to head that way if we want to get ourselves a star coin. I don't remember if that's the first, uh, if that's the first or the third one though. And I messed up the thing. Heck yeah! I don't know if you can just go ahead and wall kick in here. You can. So this is kind of pointless to to jump into or like cannon into, but whatever. You can do it if you want. It's an extra life here, which is kind of neat. But we do need to start heading upwards proper, so let's go ahead and do just that. Once again, gyroscope controls with when you're supposed to have an emphasis on 3D is just dumb. Also, also, there's a block here you can see that's slightly different. This is actually an angry block with a tail. So you will see those from time to time, they are a darker shade than their uh, regular block counterparts, and that is something to look out for at future times. Also the star coin here kind of do want it. Uh, if you ground pound off of, a, off of a music block thing, then it does give you a slightly higher jump, and that is the first star coin, so that's kind of cool. Yeah, it gives you a it gives you a bit of a higher jump, or more likely, no, not more likely, more rather, it just uh, guarantees that you get the high jump. Anywho, this guy will just try and block your way and will jump when you jump. So slightly annoying enemy, not really too dangerous per se, because it's not too much you can do to hit you. And then this one, if you hit all of the blocks, oops, without getting killed yourself, preferably, if you hit all of the blocks that he has in between them, you will break him entirely, and that is how you kill him. So, let's enter this top-down perspective section here real quick, we'll grab ourselves the, the coins and stuff, there's not really too much else to do within here. Uh, I think there's the last star coin between the two flops here, though. Or there's definitely something here at the very least, but maybe that's just showing you progression for later. So we shall ignore that for now, because actually you just go here. And it's like, heck yeah, you know. Wasting time because we can. There's a door there, however. I actually forgot I didn't have a tanuki still. Um, there's a door on that side which I want to go into, so let's go ahead and do that. 
in here, there's a Goomba. So we're basically just climbing the tower here, as you can see. And there was another block, dude. Not really too big of a deal, but uh, we do have ourselves the Tanuki Bat now, which is good. And I think we will need to use... Uh, we'll, we'll just need to get back out there manually. You can... How did that count as hitting me? Really? Okay. Uh, didn't expect to get hit there, but that's fine. You can break this guy if you want. It really doesn't make too big of a difference, but I just felt like doing it because I'm a jerk. I don't know. So when you get outside this way around, you can see, well, there's some moving block stuff now, and that's all scary and whatnot, right? But you have some incentive for, for going up them, because you grab yourselves an extra life. Obviously, if I didn't have the Tanuki out, that would have been... Uh, I reckon it would have been a Tanuki anyway. So there are spikes down there. Obviously, you do not want to, to get caught by those. And you can go on top of these guys to, to make this just a lot easier for yourself if you want. You can see there is a shadow there, so the last star medal is actually up there, which is fine. You can get yourself a 10 second clock if you care on the other side, I really don't. And then there's this kind of out of place section here, but there's a very very basic intro to a few things. The, the poles here, you can press left or right to line yourself up properly with them, and that's how you climb up. You can also do that with trees and stuff as well, so that's uh, it's a useful mechanic to remember. And yeah, that's pretty much stage 3-1. It's a neat little introduction to a slightly different style of world that's facilitated by this 3D, or should I say, slightly different type of level that's facilitated by this uh, this method of play, the whole 3D nature of the game. And yeah, this is another thing you can do. You can see the tabs on the bottom screen there for the different worlds. You can tap those and get back to any world that you choose. So if you want to quickly get back to world one, that is an easy way of doing it. Anyway, introduction to how swimming works in the 3D environment stuff here. It's pretty much the same as swimming would be in the 2D environments in uh, the original games, just uh, with a slightly altered perspective to things. So it really isn't that complicated, you just have to be aware of the uh, of the the layout. Also you can quote unquote ground pound in the water and that lets you inc you know just dive down quicker pretty much. Uh, the red, uh, some of the plants will have coins and stuff in them, they're not gonna have star medals or anything of that nature so I wouldn't worry too much about that side of things. Anyway this is kind of trying to indicate hey there's a thing down here so you can grab yourself a spare mushroom if you wish. And you can also grab a fire flower, which is probably more useful than the tanuki down in the, the water here, so we shall keep that with us, no problem. Cheap cheeps are not quite as aggressive as they used to be, so that's fine. Bloopers are a little bit more annoying, however, because now they have a way of humming in on you in 3D, which is kind of a, a joke move. Uh, anyhow, is it up here that there's a, there's a thing? I forget. No, so we'll just go ahead and break that block. Uh, I know there's a star medal somewhere close to here, I just don't remember exactly where it is, so... Oh, it's over there, okay. Uh, let's just go ahead then and grab this ring. And I suppose we can see where the red coins go as well. They just go here. Well, that's kind of nice. And then that gets us another extra life. So 46 lives, pretty good if I do say so myself. Uh, to get that star medal, we have to go through the the bus still here, so kind of straightforward. That is the first one, so we have not missed any. That is always a positive thing to find out, that you have not actually missed any, uh, any medal stuff. Is there anything over here? No. The Mario games are always a bit weird with where they, they like hide the secret stuff because sometimes you would expect there to be extra secrets and whatnot and they really just aren't. 
anyway, limited time to grab these, should you choose to. And, oh, you don't really have to, but it gives you a little bit of extra coinage if you want. Get some extra lives uh, going with that. And it's not too difficult to take these guys on, so I wouldn't really be too worried about it. Uh, I think if you hit the eels here with enough fireballs, you can actually take them out. But I don't remember how many it takes, but you can see he is taking damage, yeah. It just takes a crap ton of fireballs to actually take him out, so... Don't know how much I truly recommend it. Uh, let me just double check what is over here first. Ah, uh, another pipe. I don't actually remember. I think this way is just bonus stuff. Because this is a bit off the beaten path. We'll, uh, we'll go down here first. And yes, it is. It's another one of those uh, 3D-esque rooms. It's not quite as bad this time that way, though. You can at least see all of the, the differences with stuff. So, it's not one of those optical illusion rooms. That's what I'm trying to get at. Now, the pipe is most definitely for progression, but you can go up past this guy as well, and that should give us access to another star medal, I think. And yeah, they like I said, they take a ton of hits to, to beat, but they really aren't so bad when you get used to them. And yes, there it is, the final star medal. So both of these pipes will lead to pretty much the same area. Although you can see this second pipe here actually does lead on top of the of the world. So that's how you get the flight pole here. So Always look around for stuff like that, especially if you see an enemy going up into an area that looks as if it uh, is solid. Definitely take a look and make sure that you are, in fact, not going to a solid place. You know, and it is actually uh, what it says it is. So, this blue house here, I actually forget exactly what it is for, so we are going to take a quick look at it before we do the last thing here. So, Toad Houses, you get an album. Oh, right, okay. So, yeah, this is uh, this is a slightly different uh, place. Also, this game does have some limited mic control stuff, so if you manage to uh, actually forget where the mic even is on uh, the 3DS... Um, where is the mic here? I don't remember, because I know if you, uh, if you actually blow into the microphone, then you can trigger stuff. Like these, uh, these you can actually trigger them to go away. But I don't remember where the mic even is on the 3DS. Oh, it's this. It's on the side here. That is a weird place to put the mic. Um, it's just below the start button. If you uh, if you have the original 3DS, that's that's weird. Anyway, you go ahead, take a look at the album, and the album is basically just taking a look at the pictures which you have seen beforehand, along with the sound effects if you want. You can also see them moving, they are moving more because the gyroscope is moving, so you see I'm moving left to right here, and then up and down, and yeah, that's that's kind of kind of showing the 3D uh, picture board sort of nature of it, like the cardboard cutout type nature, so I guess that's kind of cool. That, that's not really the sort of traditional Toad House you would expect. So. Because there are four levels left in this thing, we're going to do a third level here just to finish this particular half of the world off. And we're going to get introduced to the bubble block type of style of, you know, visual wise. It looks like uh, mattresses and stuff like that. It's actually really cool. Also, donut blocks are back just in case you thought they had disappeared. They have, in fact, not. They are still more than, you know, comfortable with being used, and I actually didn't realize there were, there's one of these blocks over here. This game doesn't require you to have previous power-ups too often, but it does sometimes need you to have the uh, Tanuki and stuff like that from previous levels. Anyhow, there's uh, if you could see the rotating thing there, there is in fact a star medal up here in this uh, recreation of one of the basic uh, basic uh, bonus stage type things uh, from the original games. And there is a chain jump. 
You see he's attached to a thing, if you ground pound that thing you can actually defeat the Chain Chomp. He doesn't get to run away anymore, he just gets defeated. So since the game is required that I use a Tanuki by now, I'm just going to keep it on by now and we'll uh, we'll just go ahead and use it. There's, uh, there's not really any harm in not doing that, I guess, because the game has said, hey, you know what you really should be using? Tanuki. So we're going to make you use Tanuki. As you can see by that block right there, there isn't actually anything down there, so don't bother going there. And I don't remember which way you're like supposed to go for the star coin. I think the star coin's actually over here. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll wall kick up here. And there is indeed a star medal here. I keep calling them star coins because that's what they were originally called, I believe, but I don't think it matters too much either way what you call them. The game calls them star medals, I just call them coins because I'm used to it. So, Toad, what have you got to say for yourself today? You can see there is a star medal that he has placed down on the course, and this is giving me a freaking headache trying to... Uh, keep the 3D in line there. Again, um, apologies you guys can't see it, but that's just how capture stuff works. So, this is the end of the stage, and it's a nice simple romp just showing with the donut block stuff. You do have to keep in mind that those blocks are going to fall pretty quickly, so be careful with them. But it's not too difficult just to run through the stage, especially if you're experienced in Mario platforming stuff to begin with. So I think it's a perfectly neat level and it's a perfectly good one to end this part on. So this has been Game of Cow playing Super Mario 3D Land. Next time we'll finish off World 3. Until then, take care.